हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अनुराधा शर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल आइज विद अनुराधा पार्ट 1 नाउ लुक एट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस फॉर पार्ट 1 For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question 1. 1. Which job has the girl decided to do? Have you thought what job you would like to do? Mm, I think that as I'm a very sociable person, I could become a shop assistant. You'd be good at that. Maybe. But my mum says that kind of work can be quite tiring as I will have to deal with difficult customers sometimes. Why don't you become a teacher? You're very good at explaining things to others. Good idea. But I like better to work as a nurse. I enjoy looking after people who are sick. So that's what I'll do. Okay, but I still think that being a teacher would be an excellent job for you. Now, listen again. Have you thought what job you would like to do? Mm, I think that as I'm a very sociable person, I could become a shop assistant. You'd be good at that. Maybe, but my mum says that kind of work can be quite tiring as I will have to deal with difficult customers sometimes. Why don't you become a teacher? You're very good at explaining things to others. Good idea, but I like better to work as a nurse. I enjoy looking after people who are sick. So that's what I'll do. Okay, but I still think that being a teacher would be an excellent job for you. Two. What will the boy order? How about ordering a pizza from the place down the road? You can order a small pizza if you like, but I want only a salad. Why? Are you on a diet? No, but I don't like the pizza from this place. I only prefer their burgers. So, do you want to order burgers and chips for both of us? Now that I think, the last time I ate a burger from that place, it wasn't well cooked. So just a salad. Okay then. I'll take my first choice. Now, listen again. How about ordering a pizza from the place down the road? You can order a small pizza if you like, but I want only a salad. Why? Are you on a diet? No, but I don't like the pizza from this place. I only prefer their burgers. So, do you want to order burgers and chips for both of us? Now that I think, the last time I ate a burger from that place, it wasn't well cooked. So just a salad. Okay then. I'll take my first choice. Three. Which activity does the girl not do any more? I want to start a new hobby. I was thinking about table tennis. I've seen you playing, and I think it's quite interesting. Although I've given up, as I don't have enough time to play any more, I still think that it's worth trying it. I joined the school's volleyball team three weeks ago, and I spend my whole time in practicing for next Sunday's match. It's a shame. You were pretty good. Do you still have guitar lessons, or have you stopped them as well? No, I didn't need to, as guitar lessons are once a week and last only an hour. Four. Now listen again. I want to start a new hobby. I was thinking about table tennis. I've seen you playing, and I think it's quite interesting. Although I've given up, as I don't have enough time to play any more, I still think that it's worth trying it. I joined the school's volleyball team three weeks ago, and I spend my whole time in practicing for next Sunday's match. It's a shame. You were pretty good. Do you still have guitar lessons, or have you stopped them as well? No, I didn't need to, as guitar lessons are once a week and last only an hour. Four. What does the boy want to buy tomorrow? Hi, Maria. I'm calling you to ask you to go shopping tomorrow morning. 
I need you to help me buy a new coat, as next month I'll be going on a school trip to Iceland. I had also thought to buy a new scarf and gloves, but my mum said to take my brother's ones. Although I like his scarf and I'll take it with me, his gloves aren't my size. Mum said that she will buy me a new pair that she had seen online. So, please can we meet tomorrow at the big department store after school? You always help me buy clothes that suit me fine. Now, listen again. Hi, Maria. I'm calling you to ask you to go shopping tomorrow morning. I need you to help me buy a new coat, as next month I'll be going on a school trip to Iceland. I had also thought to buy a new scarf and gloves, but my mum said to take my brother's ones. Although I like his scarf and I'll take it with me, his gloves aren't my size. Mum said that she will buy me a new pair that she had seen online. So... Please can we meet tomorrow at the big department store after school? You always help me buy clothes that suit me fine. Five. Which is the boy's sister? Who is your sister in this photo? Is she the one with long dark hair? No, my sister is short hair and she also wears glasses. Fortunately, in this picture, she doesn't wear this terrible hat that she always wears during the summer months. I tell her that it doesn't suit her and that it's very old-fashioned, but she keeps saying that it protects her head from sun. Anyway, I can see her now, and she's very beautiful. Now, listen again. Who is your sister in this photo? Is she the one with long, dark hair? No. My sister has short hair and she also wears glasses. Fortunately, in this picture, she doesn't wear this terrible hat that she always wears during the summer months. I tell her that it doesn't suit her and that it's very old-fashioned, but she keeps saying that it protects her head from sun. Anyway, I can see her now and she's very beautiful. Six. What sort of film will they see? How about going to see that new adventure movie tonight? It hasn't got good reviews. I read that the acting isn't that great. There's also the new movie with Matt Dillon at the same cinema. That might be good. You know, I'm not keen on romantic films. You can go and see that with Lorna. Any good detective movies on? There's one at the Odeon, but I think we have seen it. You know, the one with Detective Purcell. Oh, that. You're right. So I guess we ignore the reviews and see the first one. Now, listen again. How about going to see that new adventure movie tonight? It hasn't got good reviews. I read that the acting isn't that great. There's also the new movie with Matt Dillon at the same cinema. That might be good. You know, I'm not keen on romantic films. You can go and see that with Lorna. Any good detective movies on? There's one at the Odeon, but I think we have seen it. You know, the one with Detective Purcell. Oh, that. You're right. So I guess we ignore the reviews and see the first one. Seven. Where does the girl want to go on holiday? Where do you go on holiday this summer? I don't know, but I'd prefer to go to an island and not to the mountains, as we usually do with my parents. My mum says that because we live near the sea, she needs a change on our holiday, so we always go to the mountains and sleep in tents, or to big cities and visit museums all the time. I don't like either of them. Now, listen again. Where do you go on holiday this summer? I don't know, but I'd prefer to go to an island and not to the mountains, as we usually do with my parents. My mum says that because we live near the sea, she needs a change on our holiday, so we always go to the mountains and sleep in tents, or to big cities and visit museums all the time. I don't like either of them. That is the end of part one.
Part 2. Now look at Part 2. For each question, choose the correct answer. 8. You will hear two friends talking about a new girl in their class. Have you had a chance to talk to that new girl? Oh, you mean Jenny? Yes, I have. She is quite shy, so it's not easy to chat with her. But I think she is going to be top of the class. She is way ahead in maths. Yes, she certainly seems amazing at maths. Still not better than you, though. But I think you are wrong about her being shy. I saw her pushing some younger kids around in the break and telling them to go and get her something to drink. Are you sure? That doesn't sound like her. And she seems such a nice girl. I am so disappointed. Now, listen again. Have you had a chance to talk to that new girl? Oh, you mean Jenny? Yes, I have. She is quite shy, so it's not easy to chat with her. But I think she is going to be top of the class. She is way ahead in maths. Yes, she certainly seems amazing at maths. Still not better than you, though. But I think you are wrong about her being shy. I saw her pushing some younger kids around in the break and telling them to go and get her something to drink. Are you sure? That doesn't sound like her. And she seems such a nice girl. I am so disappointed. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about a group's new song. Have you heard that new song by Blitz? Yeah, I heard it yesterday. I guess it's good, but I prefer their older stuff. You know, when they were first famous, their songs were more original. Now they just sound like all the other groups playing the same sort of music. I guess they don't care so much because they've made lots of money. You're right about that. They used to be so original back then, but I still think this is a good song. Yeah, sure, but for me, just good isn't enough. I don't see myself listening to it that much. Now, listen again. Have you heard that new song by Blitz? Yeah, I heard it yesterday. I guess it's good, but I prefer their older stuff. You know, when they were first famous, their songs were more original. Now they just sound like all the other groups playing the same sort of music. I guess they don't care so much because they've made lots of money. You're right about that. They used to be so original back then, but I still think this is a good song. Yeah, sure, but for me, just good isn't enough. I don't see myself listening to it that much. Ten. You will hear a girl telling a friend about something she's bought online. Look, I got these great running shoes online. I'd been looking for ages, but in the shops they were too expensive. I found these at half price. Wow, they are great. I've wanted a pair of those since they first came out. The trouble is that the last time I bought something online, I had to send it back. The size was all wrong, and then it took six months to get a refund. Yes, I guess it can be a bit of a risk, but I've never had any problem. I guess I was just unlucky. Maybe I should give it another try. My dad has promised to help me. Now, listen again. Look! I got these great running shoes online. I'd been looking for ages, but in the shops they were too expensive. I found these at half price. Wow, they are great. I've wanted a pair of those since they first came out. The trouble is that the last time I bought something online, I had to send it back. The size was all wrong, and then it took six months to get a refund. Yes, I guess it can be a bit of a risk, but I've never had any problem. I guess I was just unlucky. Maybe I should give it another try. My dad has promised to help me. Eleven. 
You will hear two friends talking about their teacher. Okay, that's it. I'm going to complain. Mr. Jones has given me low marks again. What? For English literature? But you are one of the best in class. But he says I don't take part in the lessons. But my exam marks were so good. He is completely unfair. It's because I'm not English. I agree it's not fair, but it's got nothing to do with your nationality. Half the class are not English. But the highest term mark went to someone who isn't as good as me, but is English. I'm sure that if you talk to him, you'll understand what is going on. And to be fair, you are not the most active student in class. Now listen again. Okay, that's it. I'm going to complain. Mr. Jones has given me low marks again. What? For English literature? But you are one of the best in class. But he says I don't take part in the lessons. But my exam marks were so good. He is completely unfair. It's because I'm not English. I agree it's not fair, but it's got nothing to do with your nationality. Half the class are not English. But the highest term mark went to someone who isn't as good as me, but is English. I'm sure that if you talk to him, you'll understand what is going on. And to be fair, you are not the most active student in class. Twelve. You will hear two friends talking about a new film. Have you seen that new film about that boy lost in the jungle? Yes, I saw it last week. It was a bit disappointing as a story, although I have to say the scenery was excellent. Yes, you're right. I've read the book, which was much better. The film did not show any of the events which explain the reasons behind the boy's actions, but as you said. The scenery was so amazing that it's worth seeing just for that. It has made me want to visit a jungle environment somewhere in the world. Me too. Now listen again. Have you seen that new film about that boy lost in the jungle? Yes, I saw it last week. It was a bit disappointing as a story, although I have to say the scenery was excellent. Yes, you're right. I've read the book, which was much better. The film did not show any of the events which explain the reasons behind the boy's actions. But as you said, the scenery was so amazing that it's worth seeing just for that. It has made me want to visit a jungle environment somewhere in the world. Me too. Thirteen. You will hear two friends talking about blogs. I want to create a blog, but I find it too difficult. There's so much information on the web, and everyone's telling you to do different things. I know. I had the same problems when I started my blog. I knew less than nothing about blogging, but now I'm very familiar with it, and my blog's doing pretty well. I receive nice comments from some readers. Do you want me to help you? I would be grateful if you could do that for me. Now listen again. I want to create a blog, but I find it too difficult. There's so much information on the web, and everyone's telling you to do different things. I know. I had the same problems when I started my blog. I knew less than nothing about blogging, but now I'm very familiar with it, and my blog's doing pretty well. I receive nice comments from some readers. Do you want me to help you? I would be grateful if you could do that for me. That is the end of part two. Part three. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions fourteen to nineteen now. You have twenty seconds.
You will hear a student giving a review of his visit to Cheswick House and Gardens to his class. Well, London has many surprises waiting to be discovered. So imagine my surprise when I discovered the amazing Cheswick Park in West London, hidden amongst the houses, right next to the main station. In fact. Just where you would not expect to find a beautiful park with a restaurant and an example of amazing architecture, Cheswick House was built in 1729. It was designed by its owner, Lord Burlington. The interior of the building is important, not only because of its beauty, but because there are important paintings and furniture in it. You can join group tours of Cheswick House, which take place every weekend. They last an hour and cost eighteen pounds per person. There are also family tickets that cost thirty-eight pounds. I went on one of these tours, and I can tell you it was well worth every penny. Now, if being outside is more your thing, Cheswick Park, the huge garden which the house was built in, will inspire you. You can go on a garden tour with a guide. You will see the greenhouses filled with flowers and beautiful gardens full of whatever flowers are in season. There is also a flower shop where you can buy plants and souvenirs. The garden tour is six pounds per person or fifty for a group of ten. It takes an hour and a half. After which you will be ready for a meal or a coffee at the restaurant. There is a wide selection of cakes and snacks. From as little as two pound for coffee and a piece of cake. Oh, and if you're in London from the seventh of June, there is a music week. You can sit on the grass and listen to music from six in the afternoon to ten every evening. The music week ends on the thirteenth of June with an amazing teenagers' song competition. Now. Listen again. Well, London has many surprises waiting to be discovered. So imagine my surprise when I discovered the amazing Cheswick Park in West London, hidden amongst the houses, right next to the main station. In fact, just where you would not expect to find a beautiful park with a restaurant and an example of amazing architecture. Cheswick House was built in 1729. It was designed by its owner, Lord Burlington. The interior of the building is important, not only because of its beauty, but because there are important paintings and furniture in it. You can join group tours of Cheswick House, which take place every weekend. They last an hour and cost eighteen pounds per person. There are also family tickets that cost thirty-eight pounds. I went on one of these tours, and I can tell you it was well worth every penny. Now, if being outside is more your thing, Cheswick Park, the huge garden which the house was built in, will inspire you. You can go on a garden tour with a guide. You will see the greenhouses filled with flowers and beautiful gardens. Full of whatever flowers are in season. There is also a flower shop where you can buy plants and souvenirs. The garden tour is six pounds per person, or fifty for a group of ten. It takes an hour and a half. After which you will be ready for a meal or a coffee at the restaurant. There is a wide selection of cakes and snacks, from as little as two pound for coffee and a piece of cake. Oh. And if you're in London from the seventh of June, there is a music week. You can sit on the grass and listen to music from six in the afternoon to ten every evening. The music week ends on the thirteenth of June with an amazing teenagers' song competition. That is the end of part three. Part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty to twenty-five now.
You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a young athlete called Miguel. Today, we have Miguel with us, who is a young athlete in a very unusual sport, parkour. Miguel, tell us a bit about this interesting sport. What is the aim of it? Well, it's a very new sport, as it actually started in the 1980s. It was started in France, and is also known as free running. The athletes are aimed to move in whichever way they can over and through any area without using any equipment, only the ability of their body and in the fastest and most efficient way. Mostly it is running and jumping, which obviously relies on strength and fitness. What is the main difficulty in this sport? Well, I'd say self-control and to rely only on yourself. There is no room for being scared. The movements required to work all parts of your body and the mind needs to control any worries about height or difficulties the athlete faces. What is true about parkour in the UK? Well, the UK has become the first country in the world to recognise it as a sport, so now it can get financial support from the government. This also means that it could soon be practised in schools as it is an exciting and interesting activity which can develop useful skills in school children. I think my school will be one of the first to include this kind of sport in the schedule. What do you think about a recent video about parkour? Not everybody seems to like this sport. Yes, mainly because some people do it in cities without the help of safety ropes, so there is a danger to athletes as well as people nearby. This was not helped by the video which came out with a parkour athlete running across Cambridge. Many people didn't like him, as he was filmed on ancient buildings, which they said was against the law and should be forbidden. Well, I hear you are going to take part in the parkour competition on the Greek island of Santorini next month. Is it true? Yes, it will be my first time. It's an amazing location and a real challenge. The competition is very popular with athletes and can be watched on social media and on TV, which is great for the athletes as they become famous and get offered career opportunities. What are your plans for the future? Do you want to become a champion at parkour or is it just a hobby? I would like to finish my school first and maybe study sports at university. Regarding parkour, I really enjoy it, but I don't think I would like to be a professional parkour trainer. Thanks, Miguel. I'm sure many young people will be inspired to start parkour after this. Now, listen again. Today, we have Miguel with us, who is a young athlete in a very unusual sport, parkour. Miguel, Tell us a bit about this interesting sport. What is the aim of it? Well, it's a very new sport, as it actually started in the 1980s. It was started in France and is also known as free running. The athletes are aimed to move in whichever way they can over and through any area without using any equipment, only the ability of their body and in the fastest and most efficient way. Mostly it is running and jumping, which obviously relies on strength and fitness. What is the main difficulty in this sport? Well, I'd say self-control and to rely only on yourself. There is no room for being scared. The movements required to work all parts of your body and the mind needs to control any worries about height or difficulties the athlete faces. What is true about parkour in the UK? Well, the UK has become the first country in the world to recognise it as a sport, so now it can get financial support from the government. This also means that it could soon be practised in schools, as it is an exciting and interesting activity which can develop useful skills in school children. I think my school will be one of the first to include this kind of sport in the schedule. What do you think about a recent video about parkour? Not everybody seems to like this sport. Yes, 
mainly because some people do it in cities without the help of safety ropes, so there is a danger to athletes as well as people nearby. This was not helped by the video which came out with a parkour athlete running across Cambridge. Many people didn't like him, as he was filmed on ancient buildings, which they said was against the law and should be forbidden. Well, I hear you are going to take part in the parkour competition on the Greek island of Santorini next month. Is it true? Yes, it will be my first time. It's an amazing location and a real challenge. The competition is very popular with athletes and can be watched on social media and on TV, which is great for the athletes as they become famous and get offered career opportunities. What are your plans for the future? Do you want to become a champion at parkour or is it just a hobby? I would like to finish my school first and maybe study sports at university. Regarding parkour, I really enjoy it, but I don't think I would like to be a professional parkour trainer. Thanks, Miguel. I'm sure many young people will be inspired to start parkour after this. That is the end of part four. That is the end of the test. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.